Hi everyone, it's Laurel here. Um, I just want to do a quick follow-up bid to um, a little project I started last night on Ustream that I completely changed. Um, if I, had, I did a little impromptu Ustream last night and I was busy working on a 8x8 scrapbook page, um, actually a book, it was intended to be for a co-worker of mine for the holidays who's a dog lover. Well, I have to tell you that it was like torture, sitting there and trying to come up with ideas. And as I looked around, I was cleaning up my studio today, I stumbled across the envelope mini book project, and um, I had these cute fanciful papers, so I thought, you know, I know she's not a scrapbooker, but I think this would be far more enjoyable for me to make and um, I would like the end result a lot better. So here's what I have so far. Um, this is the basic um, scallop envelope little box and um, I cut it out of um, some of the papers from the line that I showed you guys last night. Um, you know they're very colorful and then I went through and I, I die cut some of the little pieces like the words, it says companion, the little dog here, the dog house. Um, I also cut out the tag, and then on the back I have play, fetch, friend, the dog bowl, and then on one end I have the fire hydrant. Um, and then I just went ahead and um, popped up all those, you know, cut out shapes, and then I made a mini for inside. Um, now let's see, this is the front. Um, I have yet to do, um, it just has five pages and I'm going to be cutting the insides and in order to give this some added interest when it sits in the book, I'm going to find some coordinating ribbon um, in my colors here and um, you know I might do the trick that I showed you guys for the ribbon slider with the pop top can. Um, it looks like a dog collar. Um, that might be my main uh, embellishment on, on the front of the book. But each, you know, I did some chipboard and I covered it on the inside. And then these are the pages are actually the em the scallop envelopes. And I'm going to have some two by three um, tags that I'm getting ready to cut to put in the inside. Um, Quite honestly, I didn't like a lot of the patterns of paper that were in this line. Some of it was I just couldn't make heads or tails of. So, and um, some of it was very dark. So I just pulled. And this is upside down, but that's okay. So I'm gonna decorate the front, um, give it some ribbons, and. Um, that took me just about an hour to put together, including all the fussy cutting. So to me, it seems to be, you know, a lot more enjoyable project. Um, I like the end result a lot better. And um, I think that, you know, she will just really enjoy the fact that, um, you know, I thought of her and her dogs. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, the scalloped envelope die is available um, through my Stampin' Up! website, and it's um, $21.99 in the U.S. Um, I'll put the link below in case you'd like to um, order the die. Um, I've made many of these. I've made one for um, Thanksgiving, another one for Christmas. Um, you know, it's it's very quick and very easy, and, and I just binded it with my bind it all. And you can kind of take it as far as you want. So, um, that's my project. Let me know if you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.